Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How y'all doing this morning? Go ahead and double tap on that screen as y'all come into the room. Y'all already know what time it is. Let me get this thing going. Yeah, how to get this gotta get this walking pad going, baby. Mm. Gotta stay hydrated. Drinking the water. That's right, got to stay hydrated, got to make sure we drinking plenty of what? Plenty of water. Big ups to everybody, man, that's been hanging out, man, every single morning we've been tapping in. That's Monday through Friday. We've been getting it in right here, Monday through Friday. You know what I'm saying? It's the morning walk, word, and worship where you get. Thank you so much, fun mom. Good morning to you. You know, when you get your three wins a day, that's a mental win. That's when I'm dropping these gems, man. That's the motivational time where we're expanding, you know what I'm saying, our mindset, thinking outside of the box, you know what I'm saying? That's what we're doing. And then you got your spiritual win because y'all know we always good for some good old scripture, a good old breakdown over here of what that Bible is really talking about. And then you get that physical win because we got some of you guys that are up that are on treadmills, on walking paths. Some of you guys are walking the neighborhood. I even had somebody send me a picture. They was walking in the neighborhood gym. So big ups to everybody that's constantly getting up and tapping in. Some things that some people don't understand is that a lot of us never had a morning routine. And now we have that every single morning when you wake up and you set aside the time for you to be here in the morning. That's you creating a morning routine for yourself. Something that you do every single morning to give you your daily dose of motivation and inspiration. Your daily dose of getting your daily pick me up. Almost like your coffee, baby. You get up you get your coffee some of y'all that drink coffee some of y'all that get your fresh orange juice first thing in the morning whatever it is you getting your fresh oil first thing in the morning right here good morning jen good morning tara good morning body by kira how you doing trish i see you as well inspiring queen spiritual g good morning to you as well donna walker good morning lillian i see you good morning to you double tap on my screen as y'all come on in sophia good morning to you as well how y'all doing this morning good morning good morning good morning Good morning, Larice. Good morning to you. Miss Pretty Smile, good morning to you. Y'all double tap on that screen for me. How y'all doing this morning? Sexy L43, I see you. Good morning to you. Y'all double tap. Cookie, Cookie Too Cute. Okay, Cookie Too Cute. How you doing, Sierra? Good morning to you as well. I see you be kind tapping in. Good morning, Shelly. Mm-hmm. It's morning walk, word, and worship. What's going on, Danielle? Danielle, thank you so much for the stars this morning. I appreciate you. Double tap on that screen for me as y'all slide into the room. And whatever it is, whatever mindset that you had this morning, we gonna, yeah, that's right. If it was a negative mindset, we gonna get that gone. We cannot afford to operate there like that in this here season. That's right. So grand rising, rich rising, uh, happy new day to the chosen family. How y'all doing this morning? Hoping and praying that everybody got up this morning and realized first thing i'm blessed that's it she, uh, Sheeta, uh got it appreciate you Sheeta, got it appreciate you for that badge what you say i hope you woke up this morning and the first thing that you thought about this morning when you woke up was that i'm blessed i'm blessed if i was able to experience a brand new day i'm blessed having breath in my lung i'm blessed having the activities of my limbs i'm blessed first thought that you should have thought this morning when you woke up was that i am blessed why because i tell y'all every single morning is somebody that wanted that opportunity that they are not able to somebody that wanted to be here this morning and guess what they're family is standing at the funeral home and they are making arrangements this morning you got somebody that's standing up over their child their husband their wife their sister their brother right now at the hospital they've already been told to call the family in because we don't know what's going to happen from the next minute to the next minute and for you to be able to wake up for you to be able to wake up this morning with breath in your body, for you to wake up this morning and be clothed in your right mind, for you to wake up this morning and have activities of your limbs is to wake up and already know that you are blessed. Good morning, Trey Way. How you doing? Double tap on the screen. Yeah. If you can't find nothing else to be thankful for, just be, I think I'm thankful for the fact that you picked me this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm thank, I, I ain't worried about being picked by the world, but I'm glad that you picked me this morning. Come on, double tap. Those that get it, get it. That's right. I ain't trying to be picked by the world. I don't need to fit in with the world. I don't need the world to accept me or to approve me. But I'm glad that you picked me this morning. I'm, I'm glad that you saw fit 
to allow me to be able to experience this day. I'm glad that you saw fit to breathe breath into my body. I'm glad that you saw fit, you know what I'm saying, to make sure that I was able to be here on this beautiful day. And for that alone, I am grateful. For that alone, I am thankful. For that alone, I am appreciative. That for that alone, I give you honor. I give you glory. I give you praise. I exalt your name, most high God. I thank God that I am blessed and highly favored by the one the most high God. That's what it is. That's the that's what it is this morning. Come on, Kira. That's what that's what it is. Baby, oh, yo, how you doing? I'm blessed and I'm highly favored by the most high God, baby. By the most, by the most high God. Understand that blessed and highly favored by the what the most high God. The God that's over all gods. You know, at the name is his name. All knees gonna bow. Understand all tongues are going to confess that one. That's the one right there. I am blessed and I'm highly favored by the most high God. And when I say that to you, I say that to you on this beautiful Thursday morning to say that, listen, he going to do what he said he going to do, but you got to do what you got to do. He's going to do exactly, exactly what he said that he's going to do. But you have got to be willing to do what you say that you were going to do. You cannot change your life by simply doing the same thing that you've always done. You cannot create change by doing the same thing that you've always done. You have to wake up and you have got to step out on faith. Whatever the thought is, whatever it is that God has laid on your heart, that thing that you deal with every Every single day and you're like man I have so many creative ideas I got so much of this and so much of that and I really want to do at one point or another you're gonna have to give yourself a chance I'm just yeah hold up yeah 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 I'm talking to my entrepreneur entrepreneurs I'm talking to my creative people I'm talking to my people that know in their heart that they are supposed to be a boss like you know when you're supposed to be a boss you know what I'm saying when every time you go to a job it's just like I can't stand it here I just yeah it's, it's something about the job and it ain't even that you can't do the job because you can do the job with your eyes closed but it's something about doing the job that you feel like I know that I was created from so much more than this I, I, I was built for so much more than this I wasn't put on here just to do this right here. You know what I'm saying? And it bothers you everywhere that you go. Everybody on the job, they love you. And they think that you're doing such a wonderful job. It's not even that you're going to the job and getting complaints. It's not even that you're getting rolled up. It's not even that nobody have a problem. But the warfare that's happening is not with other folk. The warfare that's happening is with you. Oh, y'all don't want to talk about that. But this is motivational time. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, the thing about it is it's like nobody else is saying anything about you. Everybody else, they love you on the job. You come in, you can do the job, you can you can train everybody, you can do this job with your eyes closed, baby. That's how skillful that you are at the job. But at the same time, God is like, you know what? I got I gave you gifts, I gave you talent. Understand that I gave you ways that you the gifts that you can live off. I gave you intelligence that you can live off. I gave you creative ideas, things that you can live off, and not just you live off of those creative ideas and those talents, but not just you, it's your children's children that will also be able able to live off of what I gave to you and the tug that you feel in your spirit is not, yeah, 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 that ain't stress, that ain't anxiety, that's me telling you that it's time for you to step out. I'm trying to get you to step out because I don't want to have to just push you out. I don't want to have to just pull you out. I don't want to have to just thrust you out. You, yeah, 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 because he will get to that level too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because he going to get his work done one way or another. Those that know that know. <laughs> yeah, he go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he He's trying to give you the opportunity to make that decision. He's trying to give you the opportunity to step up to the plate. And what are you saying this morning, coach? Stop sleeping on yourself. What are you saying this morning, coach? Stop being afraid of your own potential. What are you saying this morning, coach? Sit down. Look at those gifts. Look at those talents, those things that God has instilled inside of you. Understand that every time that you don't use the gifts and the talents, that God has given you. It's like a spit in the face. It's like I blessed you to be able to be a person that never have to beg or borrow, but you find pleasure in begging and borrowing. I put you in the position in your life. You can do hair. And guess what? You can do hair like no, all get out. Everybody else got to go get trained to do it. They got to go to school to do it. They got to go sit and let somebody teach them how to do it. All you got to do is sleep. All you got to do is sit and you just creating and it comes out beautiful. You just do it. 
and it just comes out beautiful. I give you all these gifts, all this natural talent, and guess what you do? You are still going to go and work a job. Why? Because you are not disciplined in your own life enough to follow your own schedule. You got people that's booking with you. You're not showing up on time. You're making it extremely hard for folk to book with you from the very beginning. Hello, let's be real. You make it hard for folk to book with you. You won't be on time. Then you want to penalize them when they on time and you late. Understand that. You got all this different. Yeah, you're playing with your own gifts. You're playing with your own talents. You're playing with your own business. You're playing with your own brand. I'm trying to bless you and give you, you know what I'm saying, exceedingly and abundantly more than you can ask or think. But you have got to be willing to step forward. You got to be willing to step forward. I didn't put stuff in you that you would never have to, never have to worry about that ever again. I just showed you how to make candles, but you only want to do it when you want to do it. I just showed you how to make perfume and colognes and all types of stuff. You just got a knack for it. You just know, you just know how to do it. You can make lip gloss. You can do all these things and you got that bubbly personality. You can sell like nobody else can sell. You can do all of these beautiful things. You can do all of these beautiful things, but yet and still you will say, well, I don't really have the time to, I don't really, have, I, I don't know, well, maybe, and then I might, and then over here, yeah, you got everything. Every excuse in the, under the sun as to why you cannot get it done. You got every excuse up under the sun of why you can't make it happen in your life. You got every excuse up under the sun why you can't show up for yourself. But when it comes down to their job, when it comes down to making someone else rich, when it comes down to making it happen for somebody else, then you jump. Then you make it happen. Then you make the sacrifice. You get up early. Oh yeah, we well, gotta get such and such orders out today. So here you are up in the warehouse at 5 o'clock in the morning, two or three hours earlier than what you're supposed to be there because you want to prep. You want to get everything going. Why? Because we got a lot of orders that's going out today. But if you got a business, if you got a brand, if you got an idea, God got to force you to get up and work on that idea. He has to force you to get up and invest in that idea. He got to force you to get up and study the things that need to be learned in order for you to bring that idea to pass. Why you got to be forced to do what is best for you? Why do you have to be forced to do what is going to be beneficial to you? Why do you have to be forced? You got to be pushed. You got to be drugged. Understand for you to do what is best for you. Don't you know that this is for you? Come on. Don't you know that this, this, is, this is for you? Don't you know that this is for you? Some of you don't. Know that it's, this is for you. You work harder on their jobs than you do for yourself. Zig Ziglar says, you never work harder on a job than you do for yourself. He says, why? Because you can't fire you from you. They can fire you from their job. They can wake up tomorrow and decide that your service is no longer needed. Thank you, Danielle, Danielle, for those stars. Yeah, they can wake up tomorrow and decide that your services are no longer needed. They can wake up tomorrow and decide that I no longer want, you know, you're, you, we don't know, we're going to downsize. We're furloughing. We no longer have space for you in this position. And when that happens, what happens with you? When that happens, what happens with you? When that happens, I'm going to tell you exactly what happens with you. You lose your mind. You lose your mind, you lose your self-esteem, you lose your grit, you lose your grind, you lose your passion. Why? Because everything that you do, everything that you were doing, that you did, it was wrapped up in that particular job. You made that job your life. You surrounded your life around that job. You made that job be the thing, the cure-all. You looked at that job like that job was the source of your everything. If I lose this job, I'm going to lose this. If I lose this job, I'm going to lose Dad, if I lose this job, I don't know how I'm gonna make it. And guess what? I'm gonna ask. Hold on. Uh uh. No. No, 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 no. Let me get some gifts on, on TikTok. Let me get some badges on IG. Let me get some stars on Facebook. Cause I'm gonna tell you, cause wait a minute, Crystal Love. When I cause when I say this part right here, they probably ain't gonna send me no, they ain't gonna send me no love after that. Send me some love, and then I'm gonna tell you, yeah, hold on. Mm -mm. Drink plenty of water. <laughs> Hold up. Mm -mm. 
Yeah, some of y'all, that's how y'all look at it. I see you, body by Kira. Thank you, Keisha. Thank you, Queen. I see the gifts coming. Send me some love over here. Double tap on that screen. Good morning to y'all. How y'all doing this morning? Yeah, you have to work harder on yourself than you do at these folks' job. You have to know exactly who you are, whether you at them folks' job or not. You have to know what you're capable of, whether you at them folks' job or not. Thank you, Antoinette, for those stars. I appreciate you. Let me get five badges on IG. Go ahead and double tap on that screen real quick. Oh, because well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put it out there. But when I put it out there, I don't want y'all getting sensitive when I say it. I don't want y'all to get upset. I know it's going to be some folk that's going to be mad. So do me a favor. If you a sensitive individual, if you one of those type of people that are easily offended, do me a favor. Take your index finger, put it on your screen, put a little bit of pressure, and push up. That's it. That's the disclaimer right there. Take your index finger, put it on your screen, and push up just like that. It's going to take you to the, another video. It's going to be somebody else, not me. Thank you, uh, Latisse, for that badge. I appreciate you. Lauren G64, appreciate you. Purple Flowers 93, appreciate you. Let me get two more badges. There you go, Hickman. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Double tap on that screen. The truth of the matter is, you look at that job like that job is everything. You look at that job like that job without this job. Thank you. Just call me. I appreciate you, Miss Jackson. You, you. Oh, if I lose this job, I'ma lose this. I'ma lose that. Thank you, Shalita Cart, for that uh, cash app. I appreciate you, Felicia. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's what you do. You look at that job like that job is your source. You look at that job like you can't make it without that job. And guess what? As long as you have that mentality, that. That's a no for somebody. I knew it was going to be, I had to get the sensitive people out. I had to get the sensitive people out. The thing about it is, as long as you look at it that way, as long as that's your thought process, then you are absolutely right. Come on. Appreciate you, Crystal Love, for those stars. As long as you look at it that way, then you're absolutely right. QB, I appreciate you. Bad gal, appreciate you. Bonus, appreciate you. Thank you so much. Is it uh, uh, Bell, Gordon Bell? Yeah, as long as that's your mindset, that you need that particular thing, that job, that relationship, that family ship, that friendship, as long as you look at it in a way that, that that's what you need in order for you to survive, in order for you to have joy, in order for you to have peace, then you are absolutely right. You are are absolutely right. You will never make it. Understand that as long as your mindset is that you can't make it, you will never have. As long as your mindset is that you cannot have, you will never be able to accomplish. You will never be able to do. You will never be able to soar. You will never be able to heal. You will never be able to fully develop. You will never live up to your fullest potential. As long as your mindset is, I can't do it. As long as you can't, as long as, yeah, 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 that's a fact. Cat go lover, thank you so much. As long as, as long as that's what you're speaking over your life, as long as you're speaking that over your life, as long as that's how you see yourself in every aspect of your life, you are exactly right. And that's the reason why majority of the people, what they do is they find rest and they find peace in temporary situations. Take that to the bank. I'm telling you, I can stand on that. I can stand on that. All 10 toes, baby. I can stand on that. It's a lot of you guys right now, you find peace in temporary situations right and the reason why you feel find peace in temporary situations because it's tangible that's money that you can get right now you can touch it you can feel it you can pick it up it's easy for you to believe in what you can touch it's easy for you to believe in what you can feel as long as it's tangible to you then you're all on board as long as you can see it physically with your natural eye you are all on board because we have that I need my right now type of mentality I need my right right now. I want to do mine right now. I need to get it right now. I need to do it. Yeah, and you don't understand that when you get it and you get it right now, when you get it and you get it instant, when you get it and you get it overnight, then that's exactly how you lose it. You get it and it's temporary. Anything that you want out of life, you got to be willing to work for it. You have to be willing to put in the time, the energy, the effort, the studying, and everything in between to make sure that once I get this, come on, I'm talking longevity. When I get this, I'm talking about a generational thing. I'm talking about when I get this, I'm not turning it loose. So I got to learn what I got to learn. I got to go through what I got to go through. I got to jump. I got to roll. I got to hop. I got to skip. I got to do whatever it is that I got to do so that I can learn what I need to learn to be able to maintain this, to be able to take this to the finish line. That's right. Yeah, you can fire me from that job, but this one, you can't take this away from me. This right here, this is God-given. 
I just want you. I just want you to put that in the chat real quick. Yeah, this, this, this God given. There's some things that I got that I possess in my life that I can't touch tangibly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this, this God's given. I see y'all. Go put it in the put it in the chat. God's given, baby. This God's given. You want my joy? You can't have this joy. This is God's given. You want my peace? You can't have my peace. This is God given. Understand that. You, you, you want this great energy? This, this, this glow that's covering me, baby. You, you can't take this away. This is God given. Yeah, you want my sanity? Can't give that. That's God's given. It's a, it's a, it's a thing, baby. Just under, understand. I want y'all to put it in the chat. God's given. Yeah, this, this, this God's given. Yeah, that's when the old people would say, "This joy that I have, you didn't. The world didn't give it to me, and the world couldn't take it away." And we just sang that song as little kids, and we thought it was just a song. We just sang it our little heart out. We just liked that little song, baby. Yeah, the world didn't give it, and the world can't take it away. We just sang it up a song. But the truth of the matter, what they were saying is, and no matter what situation that I'm in. No matter what hardship that I'm facing, no matter how dark my valley is, no matter how much I am over here crying and things are going on and going bad left and right, I have a joy, an unspeakable joy that, yeah, 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 that the world will not understand. I'll still show up with a smile. I'll still show up giving honor, giving praise and exalting his name every single chance that I get because I know without a shadow of a doubt that no matter whatever it is that I'm going through, no matter matter how hard, how trying this situation is, guess what? I'm coming out of this. I find joy in knowing that I'm coming out of this. I find joy in knowing that this is a stage of my life. This is not a state of my life. No matter how many tears that I cried yesterday, no matter how hard that it was yesterday, I still got up and I gave, my, I gave myself another chance. I don't lose until I stop getting up. I don't lose until I stop getting up when she say this, this peace that I got, this peace that I got, the world didn't give it and the world can't take it away. They're saying in that moment that I'm going to have peace no matter what my situation is. I'm going to have peace no matter what my circumstance is. I'm going to have peace no matter what it is that I'm facing in my life. I am going to have a peace and that peace is going to surpass the understanding of these people. I know you don't understand how I'm at so much peace. I know that you're baffled by how I have so much peace peace. I know you're bothered. Yeah, because some of you believe it or not, there's some folk that's bothered by your peace. That's a red EP and no, and I'm about to get into it because see, they double tapping on TikTok, baby. They are they are double tapping on TikTok. They are, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming, y'all. I'm, 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 I'm coming. I promise you. When we leave, when we leave out of here, sweets, I want you to know that it's up for, it's up for anybody that approach us today. When we are, uh, it's up for anybody that want to approach us today. Hold on, though. I, 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 you, you have to, you have to understand that there are some people that will be genuinely bothered by your peace. They want to see you down bad so bad. They want to see you sad and depressed so bad. They want to see you stressed out so bad. They want to see you over there not making it, struggling in life. Cry. Baby, why, 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 why you find so much pleasure in seeing me stressed? Why you find so much stress, pressure in seeing me down bad? Why you, you was just okay as long as you seen me barely making it. Everything was everything. As long as you thought that I wasn't going to come back from this, everything was everything. As long as you thought that I wasn't coming out of that pit, everything was everything. In that prison in my own mind, everything was everything. It was happy, happy, joy, joy. But something about you changed. Something about you shifted when you seen that I wasn't going to allow that pit to hold me. When I wasn't going to imprison myself inside my mind, inside my sorrow, inside my pain, inside my betrayal, inside of the letdown, inside of the ridicule when you seen that I wasn't going to stay down all of a sudden you got bothered yeah Yes, all of a sudden, all of a, yeah, 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 all of a, all of a sudden you got, you got bothered, yeah, you got bothered by the fact that I won't, I won't stay down. You be, yeah, yeah, you be prepared to be sick of me. Be prepared to be sick of me. What are you doing, coach? In quarter two, all I'm practicing is get up. Hello? Yeah, yeah, you might as well go ahead. You might as well get happy. You might, yeah, yeah, somebody, go, yeah, I know you ran down the hall. When you get back, I got more. Hello, somebody. That's right. I know you threw your, yeah, yeah, throw your shoes on, throw the phone. Yeah, yeah, you be prepared to be sick of me because all 2024. 
four? I'm just saying all quarter two. Baby, what are you practicing? I'm practicing getting up. The only way that I'm going to learn is if I fall and I get up. It's not about how I fail. It's about how long is it going to take me to get up. I can't do nothing but get up. Every single day, I'm getting up. No matter what I'm facing, I'm getting up. No matter how hard it might, I'm getting up. No matter how heavy, I'm getting up. No matter what happened, left, right, top, bottom, around, guess what I'm doing? I'm getting back up. Why? Because I owe this to myself. I cannot sit and soak. I cannot sit and have a pity party. I cannot sit and allow depression, stress, and anxiety to consume me. I owe this to myself. If I start sitting and soaking, if I sit over there and whine and cry and complain and all of that, then I'm just like them children of Israel. That yeah, I ain't one of them. You got this one, yeah, yeah. You my yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm, 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 I'm a smooth uh, Meshach, Shadrach, or Abednego. I might be one of them. I might be Paul time to time. Might be a little bit of Jesse up in there. Might have a little mixture of Joseph, you know. Yeah, but yeah, the more that that whining and complaining can't be. I just that whining and complaining, baby. That's not about to be me. Hello, somebody. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, baby. I'm just telling you, just. A little bit different the fight that's in me just a little bit different the drive the passion the grit it's a little yeah 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 it's just a tad bit different I'm not gonna just trust you come on double tap on the screen what are you telling me coach I'm telling you that when God blesses you with gifts when God blesses you with God with talent with things that you can create wealth off of on your own you owe it to yourself to push those gifts to, to push those gifts to push those talents to mature them to their fullest potential not to say that you don't have to work a job you can work a job but you can also have extra income you can work a job and you can still have your own business you can work a job and that can be your spending money you can work a job and that can be your trip money understand when we're talking about abundance when we're talking about abundance in our future when we're talking about growth and we're talking about development when we're talking about going from not having to having it's going to require work God is not about to come and just drop a check off at your door He's not going to just come and then all of a sudden you become a millionaire. He's not about to come and then all of a sudden just you get this and you get that. He's not going to de deliver things to you materialistically. And I need for you to wrap your mind around that. What did you say? He's not going to come and just give you things materialistically. That's not how this thing right here happens. That's not how it worked. For 23 years, I worked inside a warehouse every single day, day in, day out can do anything inside the warehouse fort lift sit down lift uh stand up lift you name it i can do it drive the 18 wheelers out in the back put them to the door take them away from the door understand i do it all even yeah, you name it i can do it slaying 50 pound pad bags of flour and sugar understand that box is 50 and 60 pounds all over the place throw a back brace on and go to work i did it for years all while creating content. Did it for years. Why people look at me in my face and saying, why are you still working like that? You've been viral since 2017. Why are you still working like that? You got all these supporters. Why are you still working like that? It's always, yeah, you know, let me tell you why. Because it's not about people. Stop being caught up in people. Stop moving based on what people are saying to you. Understand the more that you operate with your pressure plan, which is your reading, your fasting, your worship, understand and studying on a regular basis as well. As long as you're doing that, you are pouring into what? Your spirit of discernment. Understand that your spirit of discernment is king when you are feeding it on the regular basis. When you're studying, when you're practicing where you're exercising staying in alignment when you're communicating with God on a regular basis not through someone else but mm, through you you have got to have your own open line of communication something that you're in every single day because you have to be careful moving when you feel like people want you to move and doing when people want you to do just because they say you good at it don't make it your assignment just because you can do it doesn't mean it's a part of what you support supposed to be doing and folk will see you doing things that you're easy you can do easy and they'll start screaming oh yeah that's what they supposed to do that's they calling the devil is a lie that's not their calling that's not what they can do that's just something that they can do well and folk will put you up on a pedestal 
then kick the pedestal right from up under you. Folk will lift you up and sing your praises and clap for you all day long. And then the moment that you say something or do something that is not in alignment with their thoughts and what they believe, without even giving you the opportunity to explain it, they'll throw you slam up under the bus. They'll discredit, they'll slander, they'll try to go outside of their way to expose. They'll try to make a complete fool out of you, a mockery out of you. You cannot afford to move when people say move. You owe it to yourself to talk to God on your own, to have your own open line of communication. I did not care how many times people told me, oh yeah, you should do this and you should do that. And if it couldn't be me, I would have been left and I would, oh no, I would have did this and I would have did that. And my response has always been the same. You are you and I are me. Understand that I, I don't move when people say move. I don't do when people say do. When God is ready for me to do something, when he's ready for me to move from one place to another place, then he'll make it plain. When he wants me to do this and not do that, then guess what? He'll give that to me. 99.9% .9 of the time when you see me doing something, starting something, moving a certain type of way, I don't even know that I'm doing it until it get done. I don't, yeah, I don't, yeah, come on, let's, let's be real. That's what I'm talking about when I say, yeah, I don't even know that that's going to happen until it's already happened. What you say, God is a smooth operator, smooth operator. I'll transition you right before your eyes, your very eyes. I'm going to do it for you right before your very eyes. It ain't nothing that you got to go over there and do this and do that. No, 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 no. You got to be faithful. You got to be real. You got to be consistent. You got to show up every day. No matter what it is that you're facing in life, you got to keep pushing forward. No matter what. I don't care what other people saying. Thank you, Doris, for the cash. I don't care what other people say and I don't care what's happening around you. Eyes, focus, front. Eyes, focus, front. That's what you're worried about. Yes, you're going to lose some folks on the way. But guess what? Ain't no bump beds where you're going. Hello, somebody, you came in here and when you came, it was just you. When you leave here, it's just you. What I need you to focus on is the relationship that you have with yourself and the relationship that you have with me. Those are the two most important relationships that you're ever going to have in life. I'm trying to show you how I'm I'm trying to give you abundance. I'm trying to show you how I'm trying to pour it all over you. I'm trying to show you how I'm trying to help you create generational wealth, not just for you, but for your children, for your children's children and your children's children. But you got to step up to the plate. It's going to be a surrogate blessing and it's going to start with you. If you want to break the curse, if you want to be the trailblazer, if you want to be the first to do it, you have got to be willing to step up. You have got to be willing to be consistent. You have got to be willing to go against the grain. You got to be willing to be ridiculed. You got to be willing to be talked about. You got to be willing to be criticized because all of those things are definitely going to come. Yes, understand that. You got a business. You got a brand. You got something that you're about to do. And it's going to be some people in your family, in your community, in your friend circle that's going to say, are you crazy? Are you seriously? You about to leave that job? You make so much money. Hold on. You just bought a new car. Hold on. You just said you was going on a trip. How are you going to do that? Understand that. You cannot expect for folk to understand. <laughs> you can't expect for folk to see. You can't expect. Yeah, come on. Come on, what you say, coach? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't. Yeah, you have to get away from the wanting, the validation, the acceptance, and the approval of other people. Mind what I'm telling you, real quick. When you are locked in with God and you have your own communication with Him, and He's leading you, not you trying to lead Him, and you're following His direction, and He's dropping all these gems, He's dropping all this creative ideas, ways for you to create brand new revenue in your life, and you had home by yourself and you working out the plan and you ordering certain things and you putting it together and you doing this and doing that guess what them folks that's talking ain't there talk to me nice send me some love yeah 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 wait, wait. <laughs> yeah somebody somebody caught it yeah for, for, for say absolutely not come, I, yeah i just can, can we can we can we talk about it right 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 so you wait a minute come on talk to me nice go ahead and send me some love real quick yeah I, yeah yeah you mind this 
well, you might as well say ouch. You might as well say ouch and send a badge. Say ouch and send some stars real quick. Get us up to 500 on the stars real quick. Let's just be real about it. There are some of us right now, you're sitting back and you're waiting for validation, acceptance, and approval from people who ain't got two pennies to rub together, who ain't got a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out, have never, ever, 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 ever been able to do half of the things that you're able to do. How is it that you're expecting for somebody that's never had six figures to tell you how to get six figures that never have had to come over there and teach you how to have or how to have the mindset to go and get. If they've never got up to go and get it, how they gonna tell you how to get up and go get it? All they know how to do is what they've always been doing right there. That's why you have to be willing to put yourself in different environments. That's why you gotta be willing to go against the grain. That's why you gotta be willing to go against the old teachings. That's why you have to go against the old outdated expired protocol. It's okay to stand out. It's okay to piss them off. It's okay to ruffle some feathers. It's okay to upset the room. It's okay to burn the bridge. It's okay, understand, to let the chips fall where they gotta fall before you sit stuck, stagnant, stifled in your life. You like that for you? I don't want that for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You play safe. I ain't playing safe. You, yeah, you, you, you play safe. I, I ain't playing safe. I'm not, yeah, 2024 quarter two. We can't play safe, baby. I'm not, I'm not here to play safe. Yeah, that's right. I'm not, if I'm a baker, I'm, I can work a job and still bake. I have your cakes. I have your cakes ready on the weekend. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, don't call me. They're my baking time. I'm online setting up tripods while letting you watch me bake. Watch me bake. Watch me decorate. That's right. Watch me. I'm just trying to tell you again, there's, there, you, there's no need. There's no need for folks to sit around and talk about, oh, are you complaining about your budget? How you trying to make ends meet? How you trying to do this and you trying to do that? But then social media is out here booming. They want to pay you for just making this and making that. But then here you is sitting over there talking about I'm too tired to record. I'm too tired to promote. I'm too tired to do this. I'm too tired to do that. And that really ain't my thing. Well, it better become your thing. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that really ain't my thing. Yeah, oh, okay, well, yeah, it needs to become your thing. It needs to become your thing if that's what it is that you want to do. If that's what you want to do, it has to become your thing. In order for you to get what you've never gotten, you got to become what you've never been. You have got to get up. And you, yeah, that's right. You have to become a, yeah, you, it has to become your thing to promote yourself through your business, your brand on a regular basis. Understand that that's what you have to do every single day. Oh, okay. Now I'm going to record this. I'm going to put this up there. I'm going to see what happens from that. Understand when we say that God is going to do abundance, when we say that we're going to go extreme, when we say press down, shaking together and running over. I'm saying that all the resources are there. All the things. He, God is the source. These things are the resources. Understand that. Hold on one second. Let me, let me, let me just say this. Cause, cause sometimes I be, I just, I just have to make it, I have to make it make sense to y'all. I need for you to understand. God is saying that I gave you the gift, right? I gave you the gift. I gave you the gift. This the gift. I didn't gave you the gift. I gave you the gift right here. I gave you the idea. I put it right there inside your mind. You can see it so clearly. It's right there in your face. I gave you the idea. I gave you the idea. Then after I gave you the idea, not only that, I, gave, I, I let you see it, right? I let you see it so now you know exactly what it's supposed to look like, right? So now you also have the vision, right? Now you got the vision for it as, as well. You know how to go in and tell folk exactly what it's supposed to look like, right? But the problem come in is this part right here. It's the, this right here, come on, let's put them out here. This is this right here. This is what becomes the problem. These things right here, you don't want to work for it. I gave you the idea. I showed it to you in a vision. You know what it's supposed to look like. You know how it's supposed to happen. You know what the type of dressing that is going to come. But you don't want to work for it. You don't want to get up early. You don't want to stay up late. You don't want to learn how to promote. You don't want to learn how to post. I don't like social media like that. It's just not my thing. Then you ain't trying to sell nothing. Sit down. Because ain't nobody going to out promote you promoting what is yours. Hello, somebody unless you're about to play for promotion. But hey, that's up to you. Then you get over here and now because you 
see somebody else. We over here the next one. Now you over here because you see somebody else doing the same thing that you're doing. Now you over there doubting. You got the self-doubt that's been creeped up all up in there. And guess what? Well, they doing the same thing that I'm doing. So I don't know if mine is going to work. People are already supporting them. That brand is bigger than mine. They can do exactly what it is that you're doing, but that does not mean that they're going to do it exactly how you do it. It's one thing for somebody to do something that they are taught to do, and there's another thing for somebody to do something that they are called, that they are anointed, that they are assigned to do. When God gives you a, 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 a idea, when he gives you a vision, then guess what? He's also going to provide you with the clientele. He's going to provide you with the customers. He's going to provide you with the resources. He's going to provide you with the people that will come right on over there and help you get what get done, what you need to get done, which brings us to this one right here. Then you get over here to the last arrow. What that last arrow represent, coach? What's that last arrow? That's for those of y'all that be walking around where, you know, my friends and family, they don't really support me. My friends and family, you know, they ain't really showing up. My friends and family, they don't really believe in a dream. And the truth of the matter is, do you really need your friends and family? Serious question. I'm just, what I'm talking about today is abundance. I'm talking about, yeah, my title, I'm sorry, I ain't even dropped my title and we had 100K on TikTok. Yeah, my title is, how do I get my abundance? How do, how do, how do I get, I'm sorry, how do I get my abundance? Your baby, I was outside. I had went out the door. How do I get my abundance? How do I, how do I get my abundance? That's what we're talking about. Yeah, 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 so, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the question that I just asked you is, why do you need your family? Can, can something there? Yeah, I just, I'm going to drink my water. Hold on, Crystal Love. That, 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 yeah. Come on, let me get some stars over here on, uh, on Facebook. Let me get some stars on Facebook. Y'all drop a tap on the screen. Bring some folk in. Mm. Bring all the entrepreneurs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Double tap, double tap on the screen. Get us up there real quick on Facebook. I see y'all. We got some, we got some action over here on TikTok and Instagram. Let's go. Let's, there we go, Danielle. Danielle, Danielle, they leaving you out there by yourself this morning, ain't it? Tell them to help you out. They getting the same words you getting. Tell them they taking the notes and they participating in the chat. We don't do it like that. Double tap on that screen. Send some love. Come on. What you say? Why you, why, you need your, why you need your friends and your family? Why you need them? Let's be real, right? Why you, thank you, Antoinette. I see you tapping in. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you want me to tell you what? The thing about it is, why you need people that don't see the vision? Why do you think that you need people that don't understand what it is that you're doing. Why do you think, yeah, thank you, Crystal Love. Why do you, why do you want those type of people to be a part of what it is that you're doing in your life when you're going to spend more time? I'm just breaking it down for some people. And, and I'm saying it in a gentle way because I don't, I know how y'all are about your family. And I ain't trying to piss you off this morning. But I'm just trying to tell you is that you don't need it. That's all I'm, that, I'm just trying to tell you that you, you don't need it because the fact of the matter is when you're trying to bring in people that don't have the right type of mindset, people, when you're trying to bring in people that don't see the vision, when you're trying to bring in people that's really not on board, then what you're really doing is setting yourself up for failure. You're setting yourself up for heartbreak. You're setting yourself up to be disappointed. You're setting yourself up to be extremely angry. You're setting yourself up to feel that feeling of betrayal. The moment that you feel like you got to bring your family along, you're setting yourself up. And that, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I know, I know it's a hard truth, but it's still a truth. The thing about it is the moment that you're getting over there and you're waiting on your family is the same moment that you're saying that you're setting yourself up. Why do you say that, coach? Because if they don't understand what's going on, if they're not on board, if they don't see that vision, then what you're going to be doing is spending more time babysitting them than you are producing product. What you're going to be doing is spending more time babysitting them, coaching them, holding their hand, trying to get them on board then you what you were doing for creating product working on the brand you will constantly be over there come on get on board constantly trying to motivate them and before you know it you're gonna get sick and tired before you get know it y'all gonna start falling out before you know it that favorite cousin is now the person that you despise the most that person that you used to like to hang out with now you hate to see your phone ring and it's them and that's the reason why people would say don't mix business and pleasure don't mix them into the two because guess what when you have a 
vision, when you have something that you're working on in your life and you're locked into that, you don't need no distractions. Understand that you don't need no distractions. So you over here on that last arrow and you're waiting on the friends and the family and I'm telling you that that right there, that's a trick of the enemy. That's a trick of the enemy. That's distraction. You're waiting on that last thing for them to jump on board. I need for you to know that that's exactly one of his tactics. I want you to get caught up in the fact that they don't support you. I want you to get caught up in the fact that they don't do this and they don't do that. But the, the, tr the truth of the matter is complete stranger. God don't need them when he got complete strangers. God don't, yeah. Why, why would it, complete strangers? God don't need them when he has complete strangers. He will send folk into your life. Yeah, I gave you the idea. I gave you the vision. I showed you what it was supposed to look like. And just like I gave you the idea, I gave you the vision. Guess what I'm also going to give you? I'm going to give you the help. I'm going to give you the investment. I'm going to give you every single thing that you need for you to be able to get done what I created for you to get done. I don't need you to worry. I don't need you to stress. I don't need you to keep talking yourself out. I don't need you to keep being lazy. I don't need you to get complacent. I don't need you to be procrastinating. I don't need you making excuses. All I need you to do is show up prepared to do the work. All I need you to do, he says, what? Uh, yes, focus on being obedient to God, not people. Psalms 119, 105. The other tap on the screen. The truth going to be the truth and it's going to stand alone. I only thing I need you to do is be obedient. Only thing I need you to do is what? Be obedient. What? If you are obedient, you will eat the best of the land. When you are obedient, understand that I am going to make sure that yeah, your everything is going to work out for your good. Every single thing that's always oh, going to work out for my good and that's where you find your peace at. That's where you find, yeah, that's where you find your peace at. That's where you find your rest at. That's where you find your glow at. That's where you find your good energy at. Understand that while everybody else is running around like a chicken with their head cut off and they crying and whining and whining and crying and complaining and acting like the children of Israel, here you are, happy, happy, joy, joy. Here you are, skip to my loop. Here you are, resting peacefully. You like Jesus in the bottom of the boat. Remember they say the boat is out there rocking. The winds is out there winning. Water coming all over into the inside of the boat. Everybody else is in a panic. Everybody else is running around trying to figure out how they gonna make the ends meet. How they gonna do this? How they gonna do that? And Jesus is in the bottom of the boat and he in there sleeping peacefully. It's said that he was in there sleeping peacefully. I ain't make that, that part up. I'm not paraphrasing right there. It said that he was resting peacefully. How are you resting peacefully? They asked him that. How in the world is we up here and we going through all of this? This is why I said, yeah, y'all remember when I said, yeah, I'm telling y'all, it's a method to it. Remember when I told y'all just a few minutes ago, I said it'll be some folk that'll be offended by your peace. You remember when I said that? Okay, well, I want you to understand that that didn't just start happening in 2024. This has been happening since the very beginning of time. Understand that this ain't no brand new thing when the Bible said that there's nothing new up under the sun. Everything that we're experiencing, everything that we're going through, all of this stuff has already taken place. And we are just blessed enough to have the blueprint. The Bible is the blueprint to show us the things that we're going to experience while we're here on this earth. The Bible is the blueprint to show us, to give us examples, to give us fables of this, this, and this, so that when we are in these situations, that we can make better decisions, that we can save ourselves some heartache, that we can save ourselves some pain, that we can save ourselves some sliding of the wall and pacing of the floor. He's saying, I gave you the blueprint. These folk didn't have the blueprint. They were the, they, they were the instruments. They was the instruments for the book. I gave you a blueprint. You ain't got no business running your head into a wall. Thank you, Priscilla, for the stars. You ain't got no, you ain't got no business running your head into a wall. You ain't got the right business running around with a knot upside your head. You ain't got no business sitting over there whining and crying. I gave you the blueprint. Understand that. So yeah, all of this stress and anxiety and panic attack and running around like you're crazy. People have been doing that since the beginning of time. But when you start operating with that mindset of Christ, when you start to decrease, thank you, Shanae, for those stars, when you decrease and allow him to increase inside of your life, when you take off of your perspective, put on his perspective, and start to see every single thing that you do is spiritual. Every choice that you make, spiritual. Every move that you make, spiritual. 
mind. So when you get up out of your carnal mind and start to see things from a spiritual aspect, then you will see them different. Thank you, Tinkerbell. You start to see them different. I see, yeah, I used to look at that and I used to fall out crying. Now when I see it, I see it and I say, you know what, God? Okay. Okay, that's what we're doing. I used to see that and I would automatically go into a panic. And it would, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But now when I see certain things, I don't even get turned up the way that I used to. I don't even get frustrated the way that I used to. I don't even get agitated or annoyed the way that I used to. Yeah, things used to happen in my life, coach. I promise you, things used to happen in my life. And I used to be like, I'm about to lose it. I'm about to lose my mind. I'm going crazy. But now all of a sudden, when things start happening, I use the hack. I step back, I step away, I breathe in, one, two, three, I hold it for the one, two, three, I release it, one, two, three, and I tell myself I am in control, right? And then when I speak to myself and I let myself know, hey, bring that back in, come on back over here real quick. In that moment, I activate my superpower of calmness, understand? In that moment, I activate my superpower of calmness calmness. When I'm calm, right, I think clear. When I'm calm, I'm able to strategize. So now I know that whatever decision that I make is going to be in alignment. Whatever decision that I make, I'm making sure that I've already consulted you before I make that decision. So now I'm less likely, hello, I'm less likely to do what? Overplay my part, over, over, uh, over exaggerate or overdo. I'm not stepping out of alignment, not getting on their level, not laying down my religion, not risking everything. Now I'm not walking around with a heart full of regret because I thought about what it was that I done before I done it. I consulted you with what I was going to do before I done it. That's right. And then I also listen because I know that there's some times that you don't want me to do anything at all. I hope y'all caught all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Come on. Wait a minute. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. I thought about, I thought about, I thought about it. I consulted you. Thank you, uh, Miss Hodges, for those, uh, Tashika, Takesha, uh, just for those stars. I thought about it. I consulted you. Then I move. I thought about it. Because you got to bring yourself back here mentally. I consulted you, tapping in spiritually before I move. Spiritual life, physical life runs parallel. Both have to be in agreement before you make a move. Spiritual life, physical life has to be in agreement before you make a move. You should not make a move until you've checked. Because don't ask for my direction and then go a whole nother way. Don't ask for my protection and go a whole nother way. Don't ask for my blessing and go a whole nother way. Don't say you want me to be your shepherd, but then you don't want me to lead you. Because how does that work? Don't say that you want me to be the head of your life, but then the moment that I tell you, because there's going to, what I say, there's going to be a time in your life where you're going to be told to say certain things. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and say what needs to be said. Go ahead and speak up. Go ahead and put it down. But there will also be times in your life, right, where he's going to say, yeah, this ain't, this ain't worth the time. This ain't worth the energy. This ain't worth the effort. This is going to cost you more headache than anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that goes into, it goes into two things that I just talked about this morning. Make sure you're paying attention. Make sure you're getting the notes. Double tap on that screen where we at. We at 405 over here on, on Facebook. Facebook, let me get some love. Double tap on the screen. So what are you saying, coach? There's two things that I just talked about. I said that, one, you have to be obedient. When you're operating with that level of obedience, you're going to eat, what? The best of the land. But it also says that obedience is better than what? Better than sacrifice. Number one, you have to be obedient because there will be times when he's saying, I want you to go. And there'll also be times when he's saying, I want you to stay. It's going to be times when he say, I want you to do, but it's also going to be times when he's going to say, I don't want you to do anything. And in both of those times, you have to be obedient. 
In both of those times, come on, Lily. In both of those times, you have to be obedient, right? But what's the other thing, coach? That's obedience. What was the other thing? In order for you to hear that, in order for you to hear that, you have to be what? Your spirit of discernment. Remember when I said your daily conversation with God? That you have to have your own daily conversations with God. That you have to have your own relationship with God. As long as you are developing your relationship, then you know when you were talking to you, which was your check, when you came, when you reeled yourself back in, you knew already, I'm going to take this from zero all the way to prison. This is me talking to me, baby. I will turn you every which way but loose. You don't even know what I will really do to you. You understand that, like, you don't even know. It ain't even, yeah, yeah. That, that's when you're talking to you, right? There you go. That, that, that's when you're talking to you. But then at that same time, when you've been operating with your pressure plan, when you've been working on your life every single day, when you are using your prayer and your worship and your reading, then you, you self-parent right there. It's a self-check that come in right when you're over there. That voice in your head that's telling you to go off, that's telling you to air it out, that's telling you to shut it down that's telling you to go too far then that self-parenting will tap in right then and there that self-parenting or that spirit of discernment that same thing when that one jump in then all of a sudden it's saying if you do that that's going to cost you if you do that you're going to yeah 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 that's not worth the time that's not it that's not what we're going to do and then all of a sudden well all of a sudden then what that other voice pops in right because the voice of reasoning is already here so now it's like, like yeah why why would you do that leave that alone and you will find yourself, you will find yourself walking away from things that you used to go off about. You will find yourself turning away from things that used to frustrate you, agitate you, annoy you. You will start finding yourself disconnecting and disengaging in conversations and texts and emails and even in face-to-face -face conversations. When you see that people are already set in what it is that they think or they feel, you will start honoring yourself in a way that you've never honored yourself before. You, yeah, yeah, you will stop talking mid-conversation. You will walk smooth move off mid-conversation you it, it won't and it, it won't even miss a beat you won't even be angry you won't be sad you won't be mad you won't be depressed you will just simply be what at peace and they will be looking at you crazy like how in the world are you at peace and i'm over here about to blow a gasket how in the world are you so at peace you're so calm you are cool as a cucumber and i'm over here i'm about to be in a full-blown panic attack here i am slamming doors yelling and screaming and doing the most and people will look at you like ain't no way that you let that happen ain't no way this that and the third but you've already turned a deaf ear to that you've already disconnected from that you're no longer disengaged you're no longer engaging in that you're all the way I'm, I'm here but I'm somewhere else just like Jesus was in the bottom of that boat I'm in a whole nother dimension I'm in a whole nother dimension. Wait a minute, why you say that, coach? Because when you know who keeps you, who carries you, who provides for you, who protects you, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you know that, baby, yeah, you don't, yeah, I, I, yeah, no, we're not doing that. I'm good. I'm good if we together, I'm good if we're not. I'm good if we're friends, I'm good if we're not. I'm good at the family function and I'm good if I'm not invited. I'm good with the job and I'm gonna be good er without it. Understand, yeah, sometimes you gotta put it out there like that. I'm gonna be good er if that, yeah, yeah, even without it, baby. I came here looking, I leave here looking. Understand that, God is amazing. This was a resource, God is my source. Understand that, you don't have the control that you think that you have. You can fire me today and the God that I serve can have me born right back in and not put back in my old position but put in a position that is over you understand that's the type of God that I really serve you don't want to play around with me I got I serve a big God that handles big business about me talk to me nice real quick uh, yeah yeah the God that I serve is uh, yeah that's my source you yeah that's my source this is a resource I got this job through him understand that everything my live the way that I live the way that I breathe the way that I have my very being is all surrounding 
in him. So when you have that level of peace, when you have that level of surety about your life and knowing the relationship that you have with Christ and you're working on it every single day and you're developing it every single day, it makes you rest easy. It makes you be at peace. Understand that. And when you have that level of peace, yes, for sure, it surpasses the understanding of other people. They'll be running around scared and you'll be starting your business. They'll be running around complaining, creating excuses, and you'll be starting your business. They'll be running around saying, oh, I don't think you should do this. I don't think you should do that. They'll have all kind of doubt, all kind of fear, all kind of insecurities, and you just keep right on working. Why? I find peace in knowing exactly where this came from. I didn't get this idea from nowhere. I didn't get this vision from nowhere. And what's it going to hurt? I'm going to try it out. I'm going to put it out there. I'm going to see what happens. The lady that showed up said, what you got? All I got, all I got is some oil. Come on, I, I just put fresh oil. Just put fresh oil inside the chat real quick. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on, fresh oil. All I got is, all I, yeah, come on. I'm just trying to show you something. Sometimes you think, sometimes, sometimes you think you ain't got but a little bit. Sometimes you think you ain't got but a little bit. And God is saying, you know what? You don't know who I am. I, yeah, you don't know who I am. I can take that little and I can multiply that to, yeah, yeah. I can multiply that. I can take that little bit that you got. When you're willing to surrender your little, when you're willing to give up that little, when you're willing to let go of that little, then you don't even know what it is that I'll do in your life if you just turn loose that little, right? Because you have to understand when, yeah, come on, follow me. We outside a little bit right now. I'm trying to show you how you can get abundance. I'm trying to show you how you can get it pressed down, shaken together, and running over. I'm trying to show you how you can go to your next level. Understand that. And when I'm saying it this way, I'm saying this the way, this, this way right here. Man Mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually elevation. I'm trying to show you right now how you can go to another level. Talking about, come on, fresh oil, fresh oil. So now here you are. You only have little. Anybody that knows anything, when you are down to your very last, come on, talk to me nice. Get ready. If you've ever been down to your very last, if you are, I only got a hundred. I only got a hundred. My light bill is 50. My gas bill is 45. And I'm only going to have ten dollars to put gas into my car i'm talking about when i'm down to my last if you've ever been down to your last double tap on the screen send me some love i didn't experience the last coach that's me you're talking to because only people that have experienced last is going to understand where i'm about to come from you're going to understand how tight we hold on to it when it's our last double tap thank you i see you latifah appreciate you larice thank you danielle danielle y'all help danielle out over here let me get some more stars we have 465 double tap on that screen what you say i'm talking about when you're down to your last, when you're down to your, I don't have nothing to give to nobody. I'm at my very, very last. I ain't got nothing else. Thank you, Antoinette. I'm at my last. I don't know what it is that I'm going to do. Don't know how I'm going to do it, but what, oh boy, I don't, when you are at your last, when you don't have nothing else, I'm talking about you done went and pulled the money from in between the mattress up under the bed. You done pulled that out because that's how empty the account is. You really at your last. So now you're saying, oh, we got to eat ramen noodles. We gonna have to get a pack of Kool-Aid, a bag of sugar. This is what we're gonna be doing for the next five days until we get to the next check. Talk about last. When we're talking about that, I'm talking about you have nothing. I'm at my last. When we get to that, especially us as mothers, we get protective. We get overprotective. All I got is this. All I got is this. And we hold on to that with dear life. We hold on to that little that we got with both hands and they be clenched. And what I'm telling you is in order for you to grow, in order for you to heal and develop in your life and live up to your fullest potential, you're going to have to be willing to turn it loose. You got to be willing to open up them hands in order for you to receive what God is saying that I'm going to give to you. I'm going to bless you, press down, shaking together and running over over, but you got to let go of that little mentality. You got to let go of that lack thinking. You got to let go of that scarce type of mentality. I know that that's all that you got. I know the very hairs that's on your head. I know the tears that you've cried. I know every struggle that you face. There's nothing that you're dealing with in your life. Thank you, Simone, that I'm not aware of. I'm aware of every single thing that you've gone through in your life. I'm already locked in. I'm already checked in right there with you. And what I 
I'm telling you right now that is if you let go of that little, I'm going to multiply it. If you let go of that little, I'm going to give you greater. If you let go of that big, that big, I'm going to give you extreme. If you let go of that, I'm going to give you this. But the only way that you're going to get it is if you let it go. Why did you put so much emphasis on when you have just that left? Because when you have only that left, it's hard for you to let it go. When you only have that left, it's, it's hard. You're like, wait a minute, this is, this is, this is all I got. All, she said, all, all that I got. Thank you, Tifa, for the stars. She said, all that I got, all I got is this oil. All I got is, all I got is this, all I got is this oil. And some of y'all right now in your life, you feel like that's all that you got. All I got is oil. All I got is oil. I, ain't, I don't have nothing else. I've given and given. I've done. I've over. A play. I've done everything that I could for everybody that I knew. All I got, all I got is the oil. That's it. So let's go get some jars. Some of you guys, you got oil, but no jars. Write it down, write it down, write it down. Some of you, you have oil, but you don't have any jars. Yeah, that's, come on, let's be real about it. You got all these ideas, but you can't pour them into nothing because you don't have any jars. You have all of this creativeness, but you don't have any jars. You have all of these different things, but you're lacking the jars. And the reason why you don't have the jars is because you've been so distracted with everybody else. Thank you, Karen, for the stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, it's Karen Jones. Yeah, you've been so distracted understand with everybody else you've been so distracted with life and life is life and, and I don't know about this yeah you've been you've been wrapped up and distracted with the insecurities wrapped up and distracted with that fear wrapped up and distracted with the anxiety of the day-to-day -day life and everybody else being naysayers everybody else being haters and spectators you've been so wrapped up in that that you haven't went and got your jars God is saying to you hey I'm, I'm, I'm willing to multiply what you have but you have to go and get the jars. I can't, God, what, what we gonna pour it in? I know you got a vision. I know you got an idea. I know you got a brand. I know you got a business. I know all of these things because these are things that I gave to you, but you have got to be willing to go and get the jars. Why are you putting emphasis on the go and get? Because anything that you want out of life, you gotta be willing to do what? Did I say at the beginning of this live video? You gotta be willing to get up. You gotta be willing to get up. You have to be willing to go after. You got to be willing to go against the grain. You got to go against every single thing that everybody else thought that you should hold on to. Thank you Patricia for the stars. That you should hold on to that little. I wouldn't play with that. You ain't got nothing but a little bit. You ain't got no, you ain't got much. So if I was you, I wouldn't understand that. But you are not me. If I was you, I wouldn't. But you are not me. When you're trying to go extreme, when you're trying to go exceedingly and abundantly, you have to be willing to turn loose the little and let God do what he do. You know what? I'm challenging you. That's what you have to let him know. You say, yeah, yeah. You, he said, go get, go get the jars, baby. Go get the jars. Thank you, is it um, O'Neal? Thank you, O'Neal, for the stars. Go get the, go get the jars. Yeah, when people have never done what you're doing, yeah, they can't see it. When people have never experienced what you experienced, they can't see it. And you can't expect for them to. Like I told y'all the other day, one of the apostles said, let me put my hand through the, let me put my finger through the scars on your hand. Let me make sure that you are really who you say that you are. Some people won't believe it until they see it. He said, let me put my hand inside the, your, your thigh, inside your, 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 your stomach where they poked you at. Let me see if it's really real. Let me see if you are really who you said that you are. And you have to understand that he allowed him to do it. And I'm saying that to say that it's okay to challenge God because he done that and he trusted after he believed. So there's going to be some times in your life where you're going to say, hey, look, you said you was going to do. I'm trusting you to do. You said you was going to make it happen. I'm trusting you to make it happen. You said that if I step that you was going to pour. So I'm stepping. I want you to pour. I'm trusting and I want you to do it. Understand that. But you have got to first make forth the effort on your own. You got to first put forth some type of effort to go and get what it is that you want on your own because there's a lot of times when he's saying I'm already at the finish line I'm already over here I'm waiting on you to get here I've been here waiting with your blessing I've been here waiting with your breakthrough I've been waiting over here with everything that you've asked me for but you have failed at getting up you have failed at getting after it you have failed at going and getting what your jars I got everything that you want and you need but you don't have no jars to put it in 
You ain't got no jars. You don't have any jars. She says, all I got is oil. He says, go get some jars. Pour. Jar one full. Wait a minute, I only had 12 ounces in here. I only had 12 ounces in here, and I feel like I just poured 12 ounces. And you continue in the work, you continue to trust, you continue to believe, believe. And then all of a sudden, guess what? Boom, they go more pour. Wait a minute, that's another jar. I only had 12 fluid ounces. That's two jars, that's 24 fluid ounces. How in the world am I still filling jars when I only had 12 ounces and I've already set, I've already filled two of these? Wait a minute, something is right, and then boom, heck go another jar, and now I'm filling up another jar. That's 36 fluid ounces. How in the world do I have 36 fluid ounces when I only had 12 ounces to start with? How in the world is this happening? And he's pouring. And now he's pouring. And now he's pouring. Every time you step, every time you operate with the right mindset, do you do the right thing? Every single time, he's multiplying, multiplying, multiplying. Why? Because we serve a God that is a God of multiplication. We serve a God that is a God of abundance. Understand that. And the more that you step, the more that he's going to pour, the more that you work, the more that he's going to pour, the more that you come after him, the more that he's going to pour. He's going to constantly give you an overflow, but you will not get paid for work you did not put in. If you didn't show up with any jars, you don't have anything for him to pour into. If you don't show up with a bucket, you didn't show up with anything for him to pour into. You are showing up, and when you're showing up, you're showing up already full. You're showing up already at your wit's end. You're showing up already Already filled with frustration, already filled with agitation, already filled with self-doubt, already filled with pity, already filled with grief, already filled with fear. You're showing up already full and he's saying detox it, let that go, let that lack go, let that scarcity go, let that depression, that stress and that anxiety, let that pressure go, let the generational curses go, let that hurt go, let that betrayal go, let that let down go, let that sadness go. I need for you to empty all the way out so that I can feel you. You're showing up but you're showing up already full. Where's your jars? Where's your buckets? Where's your barrels? I need you to come empty. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need you, yeah. I need I need you to come empty. When you're coming full, you're not coming with anything that I can work with. I need you to come empty. I need you to come empty so that I can feel you. I need yeah, I need you to come empty so that I can feel you. Come, he didn't say go get some jars that's already had oil in it. Come on, double tap, go. Yeah, let's not play with the scripture. It didn't say that. He didn't yeah, he didn't come on, Lily, where you at? It did not it did not say that. It did not say that. It did not say that that she came back and she had uh, she had jars that was already filled with order in oil. And and he blessed the oil that was in the jars. That's not what he said. There was something special about the fact that the jars was empty. And I know that you've never heard it taught like this because it's coming to me as I'm teaching it. We never heard it that way. It was never broke down that way. The only thing that they said was that they he poured into the jars and there was plenty. Understand that. But now I want to put emphasis. Can I go this way? I'm going to go this way. Now I want you to understand why it was important that the jars was empty. It was important that the jars she came back with didn't have oil that he blessed. It wasn't that somebody blessed her with a thing of oil. All of them was right there. It said that he poured. She was pouring. <laughs> and the pouring never stopped. She was pouring and filled up the jars. The jars were initially empty. Yesterday and this morning I told you that you have got to let it go. You have to walk away. Understand that. You're going to have to show up empty so that you can give him something to work with. Showing up is your getting up, your first step. Getting into position, second step. Understand that. You have to get into position to be able to get what it is that he's trying to pour on you. And a lot of times you want to sit and you're soaking and you can't get jars while you're sitting and soaking. While you over there having the biggest pity party of your life, you are not grabbing your jars while you're having the biggest pity party of your life. We understand that life is hard. We understand that things happen. We understand that you got your heart broke. We understand that you got lied to. You got cheated on. You got manipulated. Somebody did you bad. We understand that you did not deserve it. We understand you got violated. We understand that folk did some stuff to you that they ain't had no business doing to you. And yeah, yeah, it was unfair. We get it. We understand. But 
how long are you going to cry about that? How long are you going to sit and soak about that? How long are you going to give the people that damaged you, the people that hurt you, the people that betrayed you, the people that did these things to you? How long are you going to give them the show of their life? How long are you going to give them the satisfaction of watching you suffer, of watching you cry, of watching you be sad and depressed and roaming through life with no real drive, no real passion? How long are you going to give them this show? You want your revenge? Your revenge is getting up. Your revenge is getting back into action. Your revenge is showing them that you ain't stop nothing. That's revenge. Smile on my face, peeping my success, seeing that, yeah, 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 you ain't stopped nothing. Yeah, I took that, I took that like a champ. I took that to the chin. I'm right back in the game. I'm right back doing exactly what it is that I'm supposed to be doing. Thank you, Takesha Hodges. Yeah, 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 you have to get up. How long are you gonna give them a show? How long are you gonna be their puppet while they're your puppet master? How long are you gonna give them that power and that authority over your life to make you sing and dance at their request? How long are you going to do that? At one point or another, you're going to have to stop crying yesterday's tears. At one point or another, you're going to have to stop making excuses for your trauma. At one point or another, you're going to have to let that hurt go. At one point or another, you're going to have to pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and get back into the game. You are responsible for your healing. Hello, somebody. What you say? You are responsible for your healing. Your healing, that's your responsibility. Responsibility. <laughs> it is. Free bands, appreciate you. Don't get mad at, yeah, she said, hey, amen, you better say that. Yeah, 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 you're, yeah, yeah, I know it's going to be some folk and y'all going to be like, wait a minute, hold on, what are we talking about here? Yeah, yeah, well, I, it's not my fault that I am the way that I am. It's not my fault that I'm going through what I'm going through. You don't know the life that I live, coach. You don't know what I had to experience, coach. That is so unfair. That is so insensitive. Why in the world would you say it that way? Why would you say it just like how you said it? I'm not sure that I like that. You are way too intimidating. You are way too aggressive. You, yeah, 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 it's too much anger in your voice. Voice. It's way too much. You have too much passion. It's borderline ghetto. I can't believe that you said it the way that you said it. How dare you? Baby, you are not responsible for your pain, but you're definitely responsible for your healing. It's up to you how long you sit down. It's up to you understand how long you sit and you waddle and you lay into that thing that happened to you. That's it, that right there. Baby, yeah, that's, that's up to you. You're not responsible for the pain. We get that, but you're definitely responsible for the healing. You're not going to get a sore on your arm, right? And not rinse the dirt off it. You're not going to get a sore on your arm and just say, hey, I got a sore on my arm and just let it bleed all over the place. You're not going to get a sore on your arm and just walk around and let it get what? Infected. Let it start eating away at all the skin around there. Now it looks extremely nasty. No, but that's what the inside of some of you guys look like. I, yeah, okay, well, y'all know I like illustration. That's what the inside of some of you look like. It's like an open sore, an open wound that's infected. It's just like a cancer that's eating away all throughout your whole entire body mentally physically and emotionally spiritually you are a complete mess why because you are refusing to heal you are refusing to heal because you feel like it's somebody else's responsibility okay Deborah if I whispered that to you you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have got it it wouldn't have yeah it, it wouldn't have been the same if I would have said that in a nice sweet voice you wouldn't have you wouldn't have got it the way that you needed to get it yeah friend uh, yeah, I'm sorry friend I'm sorry friend I'm sorry but not really sorry if I would have whispered that to you it wouldn't have hit the same understand that you know what let me tell you why I gotta say things the way that I say it you know why I have to be so aggressive so passionate you know why I have to say it the way that I say it because when I speak to you I'm not speaking to you ears. When I speak to you, I'm not speaking to you as a friend or anything. Like when I speak to you, I'm speaking to years on top of years on top of years of trauma. I'm talking 20, 30, 40 years of trauma. I got to yell to get to that trauma. I got to scream to get to that trauma. All of those things that you've compacted very in the very back of your heart, in the very back of your mind that you've compartmentalized. And I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whispering won't, wait, won't, won't work. Whispering 
whispering will only get you to right here. I got to speak to that part of you to awaken that part of you to let that part of you know that it's time to vacate, that it's time you're being evicted. You got about a five second notice. Understand they didn't made themselves to the right room. They didn't got up under the right teaching. They're getting the right information. Yeah, your time is limited. Understand because if they show up and they stay, they coming back. If they show up and they stay, they coming back. And then it's a week and they back. Then it's a month and they back. Then it's a year and they back. And they what? I'm growing. I'm evolving. I'm healing. I'm moving forward in my life. I'm taking accountability for my life. I'm taking ownership over my life. Now I understand exactly why you were yelling the way that you were. Why you delivered it the way that you were. It's time out for tiptoeing. I can't tiptoe with you when I want you to heal. I can't tiptoe with you and be all happy. And I can't do all of that. No, you need somebody to tell you it's time for you to get up. Thank you, O'Neal, for the stars. It's time for you to get up. It's time for you to dust yourself off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much longer you gonna cry about that? How much longer? Yeah, yeah. How, how much longer you gonna cry about that relationship? They five more relationships in, and you still sitting over here by yourself. They done been in five different relationships since they left you. You over there talking about in my mind, in your mind, you a dummy. Get up. You're you're living in a delusional state. You were invested, they weren't. You wanted it, they didn't. Get up. Oh, but that's my family. Yeah, that's your family, but they're also your enemy. Deal with it. That's a fact. Of the yeah, yeah, it's a fact. They're your family, but they're also your enemies. They are the ones that hating on you the absolute most. They are the one that yeah. How would everybody on the outside know what was going on if they wasn't being told by the people that was on the inside? If you never said anything to anybody and nobody was present but the family, how did everybody else get a whiff of what was happening? Understand that family ain't always family. Pay attention. Pay attention. Come on. Let's just be real. Oh, but those are my friends. They love me. Yeah, those are your friends and they love you so much that they want to keep you down bad right there with them. Those are your friends and they love you so much. But guess what? Every time it's something for you, you got to beg, you got to plead, you got to influence, you got to pressure. But if it's something for them, you front and center and you right there, you done bought your ticket, you done set up your hotel, you done made sure that they had this, that, and the third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You a friend to them. They're not a friend to you. That's why they can easily walk away from you. That's why they can easily detach themselves from you. That's why they can easily maneuver throughout their life as if you never existed. You think that you are important in their life and you are not. Understand that the two most important relationships that you're ever going to have is going to be relationship that you have with yourself and the relationship that you have with God. If you want to obtain abundance, you got to get up and get after it. You got to separate yourself. You have to fast from folks as well. You got to fast from conversations as well. You got to fast from people that you love the most as well. I got to lock in. In order for me to get what it is that I want, I got to make sure that I am operating following him, not you. Because if I listen to you, you are so mm, such a David Downer. Yeah, you yeah, you dropping your fears and your insecurities all on me. You seen me do it five times. I was so yeah, come on, that's uh, yeah, okay. Well, I'm talking about it now. You didn't see me do it five times in the moment that I said I done it in private with you five times. I showed you how it work and everything else. And yeah, I'm talking about your friends and your family. Oh yeah, yeah, I didn't showed you how to do it five times right there. And now that I say I want to put it on the market, now I say I want to post it on the book. I want to post it on the gram. I want to put it on TikTok to see if anybody would like to invest, see if anybody would like to purchase one because I want to create another source of income for myself. Now you telling me, oh yeah, well if I was you, I wouldn't do that. I mean, other people have done it before and I don't know, honey, that might not, you know, that might not be what everybody, yeah, 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 I, I showed you that it'll work. I showed you five times and I want you to understand that the reason why you can't listen to people is because some folk, yeah, one, they, they, yeah, yeah, they don't want you to have more than them. They don't want you to do more than them. They don't want you to be more successful than them. It's okay that you show it to me, but I don't want you to show it to everybody else. Understand that. Come on, Rosie. Appreciate you. I, I know, yeah, I know, but I don't want everybody else to know. Why? Because they want everybody else to think that you are just like them. The devil is a lie. Not a man or a woman walking God green earth is about to play with me or my potential. Understand that. What you say, coach, not about to play with me or my potential. I am that girl. <laughs> That's a fact. 
Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm that girl. Uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, you better talk to me. Talk to me, nice. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm that. I'm that girl. I'm that. I'm that girl. I am. I am that girl. I don't care how many people speak. You're not gonna speak like me. I don't care how well that you did. When I get up there, my mission is to go off, tear it apart on their furniture, put them folk on their neck. Do you understand me? Truth at the truth at the truth. Make it so they understand. Go completely off, coach. My mindset is go off. My mindset is get her done. My mindset walking in the door is I do work. That's it. Ask anybody around me. What your, what your motto is? I do work. I do work. I show up to work. I show up to serve. I show up to what? go off. I don't care who on the ticket. I don't care who's speaking before or who's speaking after. I do work. That's your mindset. You old? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people will say, oh, that's cocky. That's arrogant. Is it? Or, or, or just, hear me, or is it just the fact that you've never been exposed to anybody that take pride in the work that they do? Is it that you've never experienced somebody that loves being a server? Or is it that you never experienced somebody that study to perfect a craft that sit in a worship, that sit in a praise, that sit and just soak in Christ. Maybe, maybe, let's, yeah. Because some people do what they can do well. Then some people do what they are called to do. And when you do what you're called to do, you show up to do work. I show, I show up to, I, yeah, I'm gonna I'm 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 show up to do work. But see, people are not used to you having that level of confidence. They're not used to you having that, that level of self-esteem. They're not used to you patting your own back. They're not used to you clapping for yourself. They're not used to you standing alone. They're not used to you feeling and being more than enough all by yourself because they're used to clicks. They think you have to have a click in order for you to be strong. They think that you have to have a crew in order for you to be the it girl or the it guy. They think that you have to have thousands, that you have to have the millions that you have to yeah yeah all these materialistic things and and plus some in order for you to really be this or be that but when you show up and you can show up and you are authentic when you can show up and you are transparent when you can show up and just simply be you that's a struggle for some folk they don't understand that I walk in and I walk in by myself and I'm more than enough I'm supposed to be here I walk in I walk in head up chest out and guess what I'm supposed to be here. I come to do what? To do work. And every room that you walk in, and in every environment that you walk in, I told you yesterday, avoid all spaces that causes you to reduce the person that you are. I'm not reducing me to sit up under you. I ain't finna play with me and my potential to be accepted by you. I'm not finna water me down to make it easy for you. Nah. I'm taking up space. 2024, quarter two, I'm taking up space. I need some elbow room. 2024, I'm taking up space. I need some elbow room. Slide over a little bit. Slide over. You're cramping my arm space. Slide over. I'm taking up space. How the old folks say, scooch over. Scooch over a little bit. You need to, you need to, yeah, yeah, you need to scoot over. Scoot, scoot, scooch over a little bit. You, you're a little too close to me, baby. You're a little, you're a little bit too close. You can be close, but not that close. You're in, you in my elbow room. Slide back some. Slide back some. Because yeah, at any given moment, ain't no telling what's going to happen right here, baby. Scooch over a little bit. Scooch on over. Yeah, that's it. That's all. You have to, yeah, you have to start demanding space. Start demanding space, and it's okay. 
Stop letting people make you feel as though you got to water yourself down because that's not true. Understand that if you want abundance, you can have abundance, but it's going to require work on your behalf. If you want abundance and you want God to give and to pour certain things into your life, you have to be willing to get up and to get into position. Again, the lady with the oil, you have to be willing to show up with some empty jars. You got to be willing to show up already detox and saying, hey, look, go. I got plenty of space. Get the pouring. I got. Oh, yeah, I emptied me all the way out, baby. Go ahead and get the pouring. You have to be willing to do that. You have to be willing to be Jesus in the bottom of the boat while everybody else is running around in a panic. And you got to still be operating with that level of peace and sanity in your life because I know who holds me. I know who protects me. I know who provides for me. Understand that you have got to stop being so easily distracted with life and its inconsistencies because life is going to life no matter what. You have got to be locked in and know and understand who you are and where you stand no matter what. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no matter what. I'm good. I'm going to be good with or I'm going to be good without. Anything that I lose wasn't for me. Anything that walk away wasn't for me. Understand that. I'm trusting and believing him to do exceedingly and abundantly more than I could ask or think. I'm trusting him to supply my every single need. I'm trusting him to be a man of his word. He said no promise from him is going to be lit in uh, left empty of power and I'm trusting and believing that and there's not a man or woman walking God's green earth that's going to make me doubt him that's not a devil in hell that's going to make me doubt him why because I've checked his resume it's impeccable it's impeccable you have to show up in your life with a grit and a grind and a passion that you've never had before. God is saying, I'm giving you an abundance. I gave you idea, start. I gave you a vision, start. I gave you a brand, start. I gave you a business, start. I gave you all of these things. These things that I gave you are to create the income that you said that you want is to create the abundance that you said that you wanted. You said that the job wasn't jobbing, but you know how to do hair. You said the job wasn't jobbing, but you know how to sew. You know, said the job wasn't jobbing, but you know how to embroider. You said the job wasn't jobbing, but you're creative at making t-shirts. You said the job wasn't jobbing, but you know how to sell lip gloss. You know how to sell bundles. You know how to do makeup. You can create tutorials. You can do all all of these things. You are skillful baker and decorator of cakes. You are an event planner. You are a caterer. You have all of these other gifts and these talents that I blessed you with that you could also be utilizing to create another source of income for yourself where your job ain't got to do nothing but pay the bills and everything that you do on the side is your travel money. It's your shopping money. It's your extra money to do whatever it is that your heart desire. I gave I gave you ideas. I gave you creativeness. I gave you skills. I gave you talents, but you're not using any of them. Those are your empty jars. Your empty jars is the gifts that you're not using. Your empty jars is the ideas that you're not bringing into fruition. Those are your empty jars, and you're not doing anything with your empty jars. She had 12 fluid ounces. He said, go get jars. She come back empty jars, and the more, the more she poured, he poured more. I'm pouring into every jar. He's willing to pour and keep pouring but you ain't showing up with no jars I'm just saying yesterday I said I can't tell you how to get a million dollars I can't tell you how to become six figures that's not my job that's not my lane that's not what I teach that's not what I coach right y'all remember if you was here yesterday that's what I told y'all right so when I went to sleep last night, the thing that was laid on my heart was I can't teach you how to make a million dollars or to become six figures, but I can teach you how to live a life of abundance. I can teach you how to live a life that is full, where there's nothing missing, there's nothing lacking, and there's nothing broken. God has given all of us gifts and he's given us talents to do certain things in our life. How you use those things is up to you. How you push those things are up to you. And you're right. I can't tell you how to be a millionaire, 
But with the right type of mindset, the right type of grit, the right type of grind, and pushing your business, you can be a multi-millionaire. Because everybody have different gifts. I don't know what your gift is. I can't tell you to be how to become six-figure, you're right. Because you, with the right mindset, the right grit, the right grind, the right passion, the right idea, whatever it is that God has blessed you with, it might not be a six-figure idea. It might be a million-dollar idea. But my job is to inspire you to start. My job is to motivate you to get into action. My job is to give you the inspiration that you need, the confirmation that you need, that God is amazing and that his word is true. And that if you step, he's going to pour in your life. I can coach you into abundance. But my coaching won't do anything if you show up with no jars. Stop coming to my videos with no jars. Come ready to take the notes. Come ready to apply the notes. Come ready to get into action. You gotta be tired of being frustrated, agitated, and annoyed. You gotta be tired of living life full of fear, stress, and anxiety. You gotta be frustrated with constantly being on that emotional roller coaster. Good today, not good tomorrow. Down the day, back, down tomorrow. All of this back and forth, hot and cold. It's up to you to make a decision in your life of what is it that I'm going to do? Because if I'm going up, I wanna always be going up and going up when I say that is meaning that I'm constantly going up. There may be some seasons of my life where I'm taking 10 steps up and it may be some seasons of my life where I get stuck at 10 for a second because God is doing what he's doing but I ain't coming back down. Hello somebody but I ain't coming back down. I'm on 10 and I'm going to stay on 10 until he tell me to move up to 11 and then I might go to 11 and he say I'm going to thrust you into 15 and I might sit at 15 for a second until he finish giving me what he giving me and I can go from 15 to 30 all depending on what type of work that I put in when I was down there on 15. Understand that, but I'm not going back down. I'm not going back down. I don't, yeah, I'm not going back down. I know that people going to be leaving here, death, living, and dying is all part of what? It's all part of the plan. I can't get distracted by it. All I can say is God, give me the strength. Give me the encouragement. Give me the comfort that I need to go through the season that I'm going through, having to break the cycle of seeing them, talking to them, interacting with them on a regular basis, but I know what? I still got work that I got to do. Hello, I know that they acting up over here the kids doing what they want to do God give me the strength give me the encouragement give me the comfort that I need because I cannot be distracted in this season. Why? Because I still got work that I got to do. Understand that God, yeah, I know they say they don't want the relationship. They don't want the marriage. They want a divorce. They want to break up. They want to go their own way. Give me the strength. Give me the encouragement. Give me exactly what I need to make it through. Why? Because I cannot be distracted by them not wanting me. I can't be distracted by them wanting a divorce. If leaving me is what's best for you, then have at it. There's the door. Hello, somebody. I was good before. Oh, I met you. I'm going to be good without you. 2017, I told you what. It was once upon a time in my life when I did not know you. And one thing's for sure, two things for certain. I'm never scared to go back to that. I was breathing in and out before I met you. And I'm going to breathe in and out after you get gone. Understand that I'm not letting nothing or nobody snatch me up out of my alignment. You will not trick me up out my position. Not happening. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm coming. I'm coming. And when I come, I'm coming to do work. Understand that. I'm coming one leg in the kickstand. I'm coming with a face full of tears. I'm coming. If I got to come by myself, understand that I am on the way. I'm going up because going back down is not an option for me. I am going up because going back down is not an option for me. I owe this to myself. You don't know what all I had to go through to get to where I'm at right now. You think I did all this? This work for nothing.
nothing? You think I put in all this sweat, all this tears for nothing? You think I did all that crying and sliding down my walls and my neighbor's walls for nothing? You think I done sat at the job of my bathroom with tears rolling down my eyes? I lid swole shut from crying for nothing? You think that I done did this praying, this worship, and this reading, and going to a therapist, and getting a life coach, and getting inside mental health support groups, and spending all this fighting? You think I did all of this for nothing? The devil is a lie. Understand, I put in too much time, energy, and effort on myself for me to ever go back down. I am picking me, and I don't care who it upsets. I am picking me, and I don't care who walk away. I am picking me, and I don't care who I offend. Call me whatever you want to call me, but in the season that I am in, in quarter two, it's all about me. I am picking me. I am showing up, and I got empty jars. I am showing up. I got empty barrels. I am showing up. I got an empty tanker truck out there, but I'm not going back down. What did you say, coach, when we came into this month of May? I told y'all the whole entire month of May. What was the affirmation? I see abundance in my future. I see abundance in my future and I'm standing on it. How they say, rain down on me, la da 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 la uh, Yeah, that's it right there, baby. Rain, let, let it fall on me. Yeah, let it, let it fall on me. I ain't turning you loose until you bless me. Somebody gonna have to change my name up in here, baby. Understand that we tussling all night long. Understand that we going back and forth about this right here. But turning you loose, I'm not gonna do. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you, somebody owe me some stuff. Understand, I, it's, it's collection day. I'm coming for my stuff. I got my empty jars, my empty bags. Barrels. I am ready to be filled. I am ready to be taken to that next level. I've been done. Every, yeah, I want you to understand that. Rain down on me, baby. I'm, re I'm ready for mine. That's how you have to show up in your life every single day. You deserve this. You deserve the abundance. You deserve pressed down, shaking together. You deserve a overflow. You deserve to be endowed. You deserve to be the head. You deserve to be a conqueror. These are things that you deserve, but the the only way that you are going to get to the things that you deserve if you turn loose the things that you don't. I didn't deserve that pain. Turn it loose. I did not deserve that letdown. Turn it loose. I did not deserve that betrayal. Turn it loose. I did not deserve those generational curses, the heartbreak. Turn it loose. You're holding on to things that you need to turn loose. Turn that loose so you can get filled. Turn it loose. You're not responsible for your pain, but you are responsible for your healing. And the more that you put it off, the more that you're choosing to self-sabotage. God is saying that I want to give you big. I want to give you extreme. I want to go overboard in your life. And trust me when I tell you, they're not stopping that. Nobody is stopping me from giving you what it is that I said is yours, but you. Your mindset. If you want it, get up out of the bed. If you want it, Get up off the front porch. If you want it, get up off of your couch. Turn those lights on. Why are you sitting sad and depressed? Get up. Make your way to the bathroom. Brush your teeth. Wash your face. Get online. Get some applications filled out. Get up. Get into your local gym. Get that negative energy up off of you. Get up. That's right. If you're driving around in a car, put the car and take it, take it on to the gym. Put that, that car and drive. Get into that gym where you can act, get active. That's right. The stress relief. Get in there and get to working on yourself. Turn on your motivation. Turn on your ministry. Open up a book. Understand Understand that do something that's going to be beneficial to you mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. That's what you do. Understand, it's time for you to tap back in to yourself. I know that it sounds good. It sounds good when you say that it's somebody else's fault. It sounds good when you're able to point the blame at somebody else and hold them accountable for what it is that you're going through. It sounds good. But listen to coach, it's not going to help you. You blaming them, it's not going to help you. You blaming them, it's not going to fix it. You holding on to it won't fix it. You hoarding over it, it won't fix it. It's going to make you bothered. It's going to make you bitter. It will not make you better. It'll make you bothered. It'll make you bitter. But it won't make you better. And I know that's a hard truth. Because it hurt. I know it's a hard truth because you've been crying for days over it.
I know it's a hard truth because you're trying to force yourself to understand. Why would you do that to me? Why would they do that to me? Why would they make me feel that way? They did things to me that I would never do to them. I can't believe that this is happening. And everybody around you, they understand your pain. Everybody around you, they sympathize with you about your pain. They know that it hurts and so much so that they don't know that they're becoming an enabler for you because their understanding has turned into enabling. It's okay to understand what it is that a person is going through. It's okay for you to sympathize, show empathy for what it is that a person is going through. But at one point or another, you have to love the people in your life enough to say that, baby, it's time to get up. You have to love the people in your life enough to say that it's time to get back in the game. You have to love the people in your life enough to say that it's time for us to shake off this negativity. It's time for us to let this go so that we can heal, so that we can grow, so that you can get back to living and enjoying life again. At one point or another, you have got to get around some people that genuinely care about you and your well-being. And I'm not saying that they don't care. I'm just saying that some people just don't know. They don't know. They don't know that they are being an enabler. They don't know that they're helping you stay down. They don't know that they're giving you excuses to stay stuck. They don't know that because they've been taught that that's compassionate, that, that that's being a real friend, that's being understanding, that if, if all they got to do is really know understanding understand why you're that way, they don't know that it's okay to say get up. But it's okay because that's the reason why you're here. It hurts. But you're going to get over it. It hurts. And you feel like those tears are just dragging your cheeks, I know. But it's going to get better. And when you walk out of this situation, this heartbreak, this pain that you're feeling, God is saying that I got abundance waiting on you. You're worrying about how you're gonna have to pay the bills, how you're gonna make ends meet, how you're gonna do this and how you're gonna do that. And God is saying, I don't, I don't want you to worry about that. I just want you to step. I'm not, I, I, don't, I don't want you to worry about how it's gonna do, that's not your job, that's my job. You trying to take on my job, don't, try, don't do my job. I just need you to choose me. Pick me, and I'm gonna do the rest. Align with me, and I'm gonna do the rest. You can't fix this on your own. You can't do this on your own. And we know this because anytime anybody start their spiritual journey, they always end up where they always, I mean, everybody, every time somebody starts their self-love journey, they always end up what? on a spiritual journey as well. And they'll tell you, I didn't even know that it was gonna be as spiritual as it is. I just started saying that I wanted to work on loving myself more, understanding myself more. And the more that I tried to understand myself, I was like, I felt the urge to go read the Bible. I felt the urge to get to know God more. Yeah, because he lives within us and learning more about him teaches us more about us. Everybody that's on a self-love journey, they'll tell you the same thing. It turns into a spiritual journey because everything that we do is spiritual. You can't have one without the other. Having a healthy spiritual life and having a healthy physical life, they go hand in hand. So I said all of that to say to you guys that I love you this morning, but you are responsible for your abundance. So many people thinking that God is going to rain down millions from the sky, that he's going to drop all this materialistic stuff right at your doorstep, that it's going to be miraculously just appearing out of the thin air and all of this and all of that. And God is saying, yeah, so you, there will be times where you might just get a check from something that you forgot about. It might be a time when somebody actually just show up and say, hey, I just wanted to cash out you a blessing. I just wanted to give this to you and give that to you. Not to say that that won't happen, but I'm saying that a lot of you guys who are screaming that you want abundance, I'm just here to let you guys know know that the abundance that you say that you're working waiting on you already possess you already holding on to your abundance your abundance is in your belly you just haven't birthed it yet a lot of you guys have been carrying your abundance for years it's the ideas that you can't turn loose it's the visions that you can't walk away from it's yeah those things that like if I start that if I was to do this if I yeah that's your abundance and what I came to tell you this morning is stop playing with your abundance Stop playing with your abundance. 
God is giving you ways, ideas, visions of how you can create generational wealth for yourself, generational wealth for your children and your children's children's children. He's put that in your heart with what it is that you can create. And you're holding up the line by your own procrastination. You're holding up the line, the blessing for everybody through your own complacency. It's time for you to get up and shake that off, get into action, right? And I just want to say that I love you guys so much, man. Every single day that you wake up and you put 10 toes to the ground, I want you to sweat yourself. Tell yourself how beautiful you are and how much you love you because there's no love like self-love. And you first have got to love yourself way before you're able to love anybody else. It is your favorite online motivational speaker, your favorite online motivational and inspirational speaker. It's your girl, Street Poet. Big ups to everybody that's in the chat. I love you guys so much, man. Big ups to my chosen family that have tapped in right here this morning and every other morning to our newcomers. We welcome you with open arms and we just love, 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 love on you and we pray that you walk away from this live video and you are motivated, that you are inspired to step out and be your very best on this beautiful day that God has blessed you with. Understand that because this right here, this is a blessing, right? So walking away with a different mindset, an open, you know, a better perspective on life, walking away feeling grateful, willing to show gratitude and give thanks to the most high God for picking us on today you could have woke up anybody else but you woke up me and for that I am so grateful you could have gave it to anybody else but you decided to give this life on this day to me and for that I am so grateful you could have did it for them and yeah, yeah, yeah but I'm, I'm just you did it for me you picked little old me little old me and that for that I am grateful so as you walk into your jobs and whatever and work environment that you're going into I want you to walk into it with a smile I want you to walk into it with great energy Anybody that's sitting with their face balled up and they having a bad day, let them say, have your day your way. Hello, somebody, because happy new day. Yeah, happy new day, because I'm going to have the best day ever. My mindset is locked in. My spirit is all through the roof emotionally and mentally. I am so full right now with joy and peace that I just refuse to let anybody ruin that for me on this here morning. So, yes, walk away in peace. And I just want to show y'all, for those of you that's been waiting the boxes are here. The boxes are here. Y'all see it. The, the boxes are here finally, right? So listen, I know y'all. I got some people that's been hitting me up and they like, what's the status on my order? When my order is coming? All this and all of that. And let me say this to you. Guys, yo, you guys did a pre-order on the boxes, which meant that it's going to take some time for the boxes to get to you because even though you ordered it, the stuff wasn't here yet. So now that everything is coming in, I'm going to start shipping things out in the order in which they came in. In. Everybody that did a pre-order, I will be getting everybody boxes packed up and shipped out here shortly. Y'all know I'm going back out of town. So please, please, please be patient with me. You have not been scammed. Ain't nobody got over on you. Your boxes is coming. You ain't got to email me a thousand times. You ain't got to write the website. I promise you, your boxes are coming, okay? That's what it is when you pre-order. You order it before it actually gets to that place. So let me just, yeah, man, listen, here we go. I, I just want y'all to see that. They've got, got the inside of the box going, right? So let me take this out. So is, is that, this is what the, there you go. So the inside of the box, first thing y'all got, you got your thank you card. You got your thank you card, and that's a special thanks from me to you guys. I made sure that we uh, got those in there for you. And on the back of that card, it basically lets you know every single thing that's inside of this here box, right? The next thing you got, you got your stickers right here. These stickers that go inside of your journals, right? Friends, they stop walking. <laughs> Listen, listen, this be the workout right here. So you have, you got the stickers that's going to go inside of, uh, inside of your journals. That's what these are right here. Okay. You got, remember I said the mood candle and it has the website and everything going and it says acts of service. And then it has the Leroy Hall on there. You got that. Y'all know I love these cards. You got your cards. These are your affirmation cards. Remember I told you guys that they were all going to be, uh, customized. So everything has the hello somebody. Then it has the, uh, the affirmations on the back of them so you got those you also have your prayer cards they are also customized back of it got your your daily prayers remember i told you you was going to have a stand and each one of these bags you also have a silver stand for each one of your cards so you can put it up every single day you will be able to set up what it is for the day and the moment that y'all y'all journals 
The journals, the Hello Somebody journals, got the website on the back, picture on the front. Those are in here as well. Got your keychain that's in there. And got y'all, y'all know we had to have a red ink pen, right? It wasn't gonna be right if we didn't have a red ink pen. If the red ink pen wasn't in there, it wasn't gonna be right. And that red ink pen is customized. Hello, somebody. There you go. The red ink pen in the black sleeve, you get the sleeve that go with it. So when you sit down the journal and it all has everything that's customized inside this box uh, from your affirmation cards to your candle, your stickers, everything. And we put a little plus in there because y'all know that I, I believe in giving you some words. So we just gave you a little plus through this up in here because I wanted to make sure y'all had something that had some word up in there. I believe in you. Know what I'm saying hey, we got to have a word no matter what. So your boxes are officially here. But now now listen, Fred said she about to take all my money. <laughs> Fred, listen, listen here, abundance. He gonna give you some more. He gonna get. He gonna give you some more. We ain't gonna. He gonna give you some more. And I said all of that to say that y'all boxes are here. But the thing is, all, each and every one of these boxes have to be personally packed, right? So even though the boxes are here, I have to hand pack each and every one of these boxes. I have to get them all sealed, and we're gonna get them inside the plastic so that we can get them preserved, so they can get to you in good shape. So we're gonna do that, and we're gonna get everybody's stuff shipped out to them. I just want to say to all of my chosen family and my online supporters that I appreciate you guys so much. Much because this is my first drop and y'all sold it out. This is my first drop and y'all sold it out before I got the journals back, the pens back and everything else. We've been slowly getting stuff back. Y'all know Texas had all the different stuff that was going on as far as the weather so everything kind of got pushed back with that because we were waiting on stuff to get in but you guys were still on that website and y'all were ordering y'all boxes back to back. I, I mean I'm telling you and it's a blessing it's a blessing to be the person that you guys you know pour into that y'all invest in that y'all trust you know what I mean and I do my very best to make sure that I give you guys good quality teaching good quality content on a regular basis man I, and it's it's just it's just a blessing just to like look everybody's like oh now you got to sell all of them and to be able to have that rebuttal they already sold can you imagine so when I say again, when God gives you an idea, when God gives you a brand, when God gives you a vision of something that he wants you to do, don't move slow. Don't be like how I did. I started talking about these journals. It was way the end of last year. We've been talking about, matter of fact, it's been a couple of years since Josh and I talked about it, but a serious conversation. It was like the end of last year that I said I was going to drop these journals. And I just took my time, took my time. And I thank God because I believe his timing is everything because I ran into Karen who was able to take that idea of a journal and put it into a whole box. But work towards what it is. Be consistent with it. And watch God do exceedingly and abundantly than what you can ask or think. I never thought that we would be in a box. I never thought that that would be the presentation. I never thought that that was going to be how that it was going to end up. But when I tell you I looked at it yesterday and I was proud, I looked at it and I was impressed. I looked at it and I was satisfied. She said, what do you think? I said, I'm not easily impressed because I'm not. And they all that know me know, but I'm impressed. This was a job well done. It took some time, but it was a job well done. And I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's the season. It's the season. So with that being said, man, if I motivated you today, if I lifted your spirits, if I blessed your soul on today, do me a favor over here on uh, TikTok and send me some love real quick. Thank you, Tiffany Cars. I appreciate you. IG, same thing. If I blessed your soul this morning, if I motivated you, inspired you, if I lifted your spirit in any type of way, shape, or form, let me get a couple badges on IG over here. Facebook, y'all know the drill. It's the same thing. If I did my job this morning, if I motivated you, inspired you, if I lifted your spirit in any type of way, shape or form let me get some love over here on facebook as well if you just say coach you know what you did your job this morning because you know what i have been sleeping on me uh, that i do have businesses inside my belly i do have brands inside my belly i do have you know creative ideas inside my belly things that i could be doing in my life that will create another income that will create abundance and i just been sitting on it i just been over here just hoarding it for absolutely no reason and you know what you just woke up something inside of me i feel so 
so convicted when you said it. And now I'm going to get up and I'm going to get after it this morning. Come on, double tap on that screen. If you just like, coach, you know what? The word was a word. And you know what? I do be wrapped up in the thoughts of my friends and my family. I do be wanting them to validate me. I do be wanting them to be on board. And you just check me real good this morning. And now that I know that now, now that I've heard this message, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go even if I got to go by myself. I'm going to go ahead and do it even if I got to do it by myself. I'm not going to sit and wait on them anymore. Coach, you check me. You got me in alignment this morning because you're absolutely right. I've been begging God to do things. I've been crying for him to do things. I've been moping for him to do things. I didn't even been angry with him because he ain't did what I wanted him to do. But you're absolutely right. I've been showing up begging with no jars. I've been showing up crying with no jars. I've been showing up pouting with no jars. I've been coming to him with no jars. That's how I've been showing up. What is he going to put the blessing in? What is he going to pour it in? I've been showing up full of mess. Instead of me detoxing myself, instead of me doing the work that he required, instead of me following the steps, I've been trying to jump around, move around, finesse around, cut corners, and everything else. No, I'm my problem. Not responsible for my pain, but I am responsible for my healing. The excuse has got to stop. I got to tap back in with myself. I got to do what it is that I need to do to create space for my fresh oil. There you go this morning, man. I love, love, love me some of you guys, man. I want you guys to go and have the best, best day ever. Y'all are right now. Y'all are at 323.3K on TikTok. Y'all did not play no games over there today. I love me some of you, man. I want you guys to make sure that you have the best day ever. I love y'all. Thank you, Miss T. I appreciate you. I want y'all to go and have the best day ever, and I will talk to you guys again soon.